We're all so lucky to be here. We're so lucky to be here because what we're learning about, what you're listening to, is providing you with a solution that ends all suffering permanently for the entire world, not just for yourselves. However, in order for it to end all suffering for the world, we need to first, each of us, experience this for ourselves. We need to see how can we end the suffering personally with our own sets of thoughts and emotions and sensations. How can we live a life of complete peace and empowerment in every moment? And so you're lucky because we have the solution. The search ends here. We have the solution to see that we are not a victim to our thoughts, emotions and sensations. I know for myself, I always believed that whatever thought was appearing for me, doubt, anger, hatred, jealousy, whatever it was, this had the power to cause me to suffer. This had the power to make me go into a world of suffering and constant thinking and efforting to try to make all this negativity exit my experience. But you come here today and we can introduce you a way that you can access open intelligence open intelligence, if you just stop thinking for a moment, what remains? Alertness, power, cognizance. And this open intelligence is always available. It's available also when you start thinking. Open intelligence is always on. It's not something that we need to try to achieve. It's always on. Open intelligence, always available. And this is, this is great news. And we can tap into this power. We can tap into this open intelligence every moment of our life. We just take short moments of recognizing open intelligence until it becomes continuous. And then what we see is we see that all of our thoughts, our emotions and sensations, and in balanced view we just call this data, just to keep it really simple. We see that they are completely inseparable from open, open intelligence. Wide open, open intelligence. All of our thoughts, emotions, experiences, completely inseparable. Like the sky and the color blue inseparable. Anger, hatred, jealousy, fear, doubt, inseparable from open intelligence. And we see that we can take short moments all the time. We don't need to stop thinking to recognize open intelligence. Open intelligence is always on, always present. And we just tap into that. No matter what the data stream is, no matter what the thought is, no matter what the experience is, we just tap into this stable, alert, open intelligence. And every time we take a short moment, open intelligence expands. And we become more and more comfortable with seeing ourselves as open intelligence. And we just see that our data our thoughts, our emotions and sensations, they, they cannot affect us. They don't have that power. But this relies on the instinctive experience of this. So you can't just listen to what I say. You have to actively take short moments in order to feel this for yourself, in order to see that this is, this is true. This is reality. Open intelligence, forever expanding, inexhaustible. Short moments of open intelligence become continuous. And we just, we just see this in our own experience. 
It's like stringing a thread of pearls. You know, we, we've got a string and we put a pearl on it and we put another one on it and we put another one, another one on it. We, we know that the string is growing. We know that there's going to be a full set of pearls by the end that we're finished. We have complete assurance in that. And this is just like taking short moments of open intelligence. We just know, we become assured. Every short moment we take, we gain more and more assurance that open intelligence becomes obvious. And sometimes it can be hard to take short moments. Sometimes, especially in the beginning, the data feels so real. Because our whole lives we've given it meaning. Our whole life we've really believed that it has the power to affect us. So, when short moments don't feel like they're working, when we're not feeling relief, we use what Balanced View provides, an algorithm, an algorithm that guarantees that you will recognize open intelligence for every data stream. You will recognize that every data stream is inseparable from open intelligence. And that algorithm is the four mainstays. The four mainstays, which guarantees to end all suffering. And you see it for yourself first. And the four mainstays are there to show you that we can actually let all data be as they are. All data can just be as they are, free to be. So we don't, we stop trying to avoid things. We stop indulging, we stop replacing. If we're, if we're suffering from whatever it is, anger, we stop indulging anger. We stop replacing it, we stop avoid, avoiding it, and we take short moments, repeated many times, and we can let the anger be as, they are, it, as it is. And we see that when we allow anything to be as it is, and we take short moments, we maintain open intelligence, we see that we are actually completely free from the anger. Completely free from the anger, whilst it's appearing and resolving in open intelligence. Now, if there was anger appearing in my life, I did not, I never felt completely free from that. And I could never intellectually understand, how can I feel free from anger whilst it's there? See, for, to the mind it makes no sense. However, we rely on our experience and we use the four mainstays to show us that this is the case. It doesn't matter what appears, it doesn't matter what emotion it is, no matter how powerful it is, we have complete freedom whilst we allow it to be as it is. And so we have the four mainstays, which is the short moments of open intelligence. This is the single practice. We have the community, all of you, all of us coming together, reminding each other that we can allow everything to be as it is. We have the training media. The training media talks, trainings, introductory trainings, one day trainings every Saturday, four day introductory trainings, endless trainings. And we all participate in trainings. The trainers do, every, the participants do, everybody participates in trainings because our open intelligence is inexhaustible. There's no end to how much benefit you can receive when relying on open intelligence. It just gets better and better. And then we have the trainer. When, after you've completed the 12 empowerments, you can request it to have a trainer to support you in your life. And a trainer will just give you unique personalized support to ensure that you know for sure, 100%, that you are not your data. You are not your data. You are wide open intelligence. 
And having this specific direct support empowers open intelligence in a very powerful way. And your trainer is just available for you 24 hours of the day. This is just amazing. Wanting nothing back but for you to recognize how amazing you are. So by you using these four mainstays, you are guaranteed to receive the benefits of the training. And an antidote we use when we, want to, when we don't want to experience the data. An antidote stops our experience. So for example, feeling socially awkward, I'll go take a drink of alcohol to relax. Feeling angry, I'll go for a run to get rid of the anger. Uh, feeling jealous, I'll tell myself I'm not a jealous person. You know, just we, we use, we, uh, or feeling uncomfortable, I'll go take a cigarette. You know, anything, avoiding, indulging, replacing, da-da, this is, this is an antidote. But when we take short moments, when we use the four mainstays, what, we're not trying to stop the data. So it's not an antidote. We're supporting ourselves to let the data be as it is. And this is the complete support that allows you to let things be as they are. And I know for myself, if I would feel socially, actually one time I was feeling so angry at my dad, like so, so angry at him. And you, I was involved in Balanced View for a few years and, uh, and I was sitting in the back seat of the car with him and I just, you know, I just, I just wanted to scream and yell at him. And instead of doing that, I, I went on live support in the back seat of the car. <laughs> and he was talking to me and I went on live support in the back seat of the car. And live support is just this incredible offering from Balanced View that uh, gives you instant access to a trainer when, when you're in a situation like that. So instead of yelling at him, screaming at him, or using some type of antidote to relieve that, I use live support. And I spoke to a trainer and I said to the trainer, I'm feeling so angry at my dad right now. I just want to jump out of the car. I want to yell at him, scream at him. I hate him, like this. And then, and then after a few sentences with the trainer, he just supported me to allow the data to be as it is. He, he showed me that <coughs> open intelligence is so obvious. Instant upgrade to open intelligence. When the short moment doesn't work, you use the other mainstays to take the short moment for you. And the, and the anger was allowed to be there. And I could relate to my father in a completely empowering and respectful way. Empowering him and empowering myself. And then next time I'm in that situation, I didn't need to go to life support. You know, that anger is empowered forever. So whilst we're training up in open intelligence, we use the mainstays when we need to. And sometimes it might feel awkward and it might feel weird and it might feel like we're running away from life. But like a string of pearls on a necklace, we are assured that open intelligence is empowered through using the four mainstays. And in the beginning, we use this a lot. And then there are other times in our life, even after many years, that you feel like, oh, I just need to use the four mainstays a lot. But we are assured when we use it that we gain confidence, we gain power, we gain trust that open intelligence is becoming obvious, regardless of the doubt that balanced view is not working. We just see that as another opportunity we say, thank you for making me so afflicted. Now I have more opportunities to take short moments, to thread the string of pearls, to see that open intelligence is all that there is, the only fundamental reality.